There are many mysteries in the world that are still yet to be unraveled and arouse people's curiosity. Today, three foreigners come to Pujiang County in Zhejiang Province, China, because there's an amazing spot here waiting for them to explore. I'm Tim from Australia and One have been married to this Pujiang woman for over 12 years. Since rice is the staple food for the Chinese, I've gone native okay, and cool. taken it on as mine too. Mm. Oh, this is Many people don't know that my second hometown, Pujiang, has a great hashtag. The world's origin of domesticated rice. Ten thousand years ago, here at Shangshan Pujiang, the ancient Chinese started planting rice. At this site, the earliest evidence of domesticated rice and human settlement in the Neolithic era is found. So, this place is known as the first village of ancient Chinese civilization. As a primary diet resource, rice has fed more than half of the world's population so far. 10,000 years ago, ancient people began to plant rice on this land. But how was such a miraculous site discovered? Uh-huh,啊。当时发现的时候呢,上山是一个小山丘,就是它不适合这个种植水稻,所以当山一直是已经列入到了这江山土地这个平整的这个计划当中,所以当时非常的危险啊,我们马上向县里呢做了汇报
and is something like the words of African tribes. If you use a magnifying glass to observe these pottery shards carefully, you will find that apart from the clay, there's something else in there. Let's take a look. Do you see it? Amid the pottery paste, you can see clearly the rice husk remains. Why did they apply rice plant to paste mixture in pottery making? We guess it may have two functions. The first one is to enhance the body mm -hmm. of the pottery. And the other one is prevent them from cracking, you know, when yeah. the temperature is high. But next question arises. How did the ancient Chinese get rice husks 10,000 years ago? Peel off one by one by hand? Of course not. Here I found two stones, a big one and a smaller one. How the ancient Chinese separate rice from husk 10,000 years ago? Archaeologists have not stopped studying rice concerning the Shangshan culture, and the mystery is still being gradually revealed. I'm Nicolas, a wine merchant from France. The world's earliest wine is probably fruit wine, followed by grain wine, which is an important discovery. Generally, only when there was a harvest and granaries were full would the ancient Chinese use grains to make wine. Wine residue more than 9,000 years old was found at Chiaotou site of the Shangshan culture. So this place deserves the name the world's origin of domesticated rice. Nicholas, here you see the very different types of potteries, especially this one. It's a pottery shirt. We find the ancient wine in this. Mm. So how have you determined that wine ever appeared in the Shangshan culture? We did some chemical analysis. We find uh, residues such as rice, drop tears, cuba roots, and the most in gist. Southern people may use it to make the wine. Wow, incredible. French people love drinking, and they drink a little red wine almost every day. Yet, the history of winemaking in France is not as long as that of the Shangshan culture. I'm curious. What did the discovery of wine mean to the society at that time? Here you see the human skeleton. Its carbonate state is 89,000 years. See this red jar in his hands? Some people say it was once filled with wine. And this posture was held for a sacrificial ceremony. China, an agricultural country with a tradition of eating rice for 10,000 years, and it all started right here in Shangshan. Painted pottery, sand patterns, figure patterns, they are all very important cultural symbols, which originate from the Shangshan culture and have become treasures of Chinese traditional culture. Mature winemaking techniques were discovered in the Shangshan culture. Here, the ancient Chinese used to drink wine, singing and dancing, praying for a bumper harvest, worshipping nature and their ancestors. Those are the classic customs of Chinese traditional society, which find their origin in the Shangshan culture. Shangshan, the world's origin of domesticated rice.